you cock smokes and your lady slayers and your bare chested freedom fighters. Today's another episode of the Goonie Gunfighter. I've been on hiatus for a little bit, just haven't been doing videos, being lazy, feeling sorry for myself, being very lethargic. I'm really excited about what I brought you here today. Today I uh, finished actually my M4 carbine build. Basically what I did was I got an M4 rifle and I put a bunch of shit on it that was something to tune to what was issued to most soldier, US soldiers. Uh, Probably most U.S. Army stuff. Um, and I actually have it right here. The uh, build is done. Relatively done. Um, you're going to wonder what the fuck this paddle is. What the fuck this collapsible stock is not collapsing. And why I don't have that gangster grip that's on the front. Well, I live in the state of California. I do have the gangster grip. But I can't put that shit on here. But it is a featureless gun. I do have a muzzle brake in the front. I have the paddle. That makes it not a pistol grip, and I also have a non-classable buttstock, which essentially turns the gun into a featureless gun. Now, if you guys are wondering what a California featureless gun is, if you don't live in California, don't fucking worry about it. I'm going to be doing another video explaining it later on. It's science. If you want to know what a featureless, neutered, fucking California rifle is. Freedom! I'm just going to go over a couple of things that are on this uh, gun. Um, this is an actual Colt. M4 carbine. I don't know if you can see that. Um, this is a, the riding, the riding pony, and and the, or the rampant pony or whatnot. What I also have here is a Surefire 9 uh, 951. I'm sorry, it's a Surefire 961 weapon light. I do have the Knights Armament Company, the CAC. I got the CAC rail, the for the M4 Raz. I have an M4 Comp 2 type optic, and I have an HK uh, 30 round magazine. <laughs> Like I said, really excited about this build. Uh, a lot of you guys are wondering if you want to build some of these, but it's a little expensive. Uh, ARs, they're getting cheap these days. They don't necessarily have to be a super, like exactly the, the product, but if you just want something that was built up, finding exact part is not as expensive as you would think. Uh, bought the rifle used for about a grand. It, it was in pretty decent condition. The Surefire light, normally that's like a $200, $300 fucking lightsaber price light. This one I got off eBay for $40. No, it is not an airsoft replica. Just some douchebag had it for a hot minute, beat it up a bunch of times, and then upgraded to an LED light. So I get to get the secondhand stuff. It is a incandescent light. So for you tactic bags out there that's like, oh, it's not an LED, go fuck yourself. I got the CAC Raz. As I said, the cheese grater, like I said, makes it look cool. I can attach all my mom ninja stuff up to it. Uh, night vision, bayonet, fucking shotgun. Master key or whatnot, all that stupid shit. I got an aim point red dot on here. That one sent me back only about $200, mainly because I work in a gun store and I get employee price. The cat rail, I got this one off of eBay for like $120. It was used. Uh, not airsoft, so if you guys are gonna dick on, dick cheese me on, oh it's airsoft, you didn't, you didn't pay for a real thing, go fuck yourself, I do my research. The rear sight, the rear little flip up sight with the, uh, great, the little gradient thing, I didn't pay any money for that one. CID, if you're listening, I stole this, stole it fair and square. What chain? Yeah, what chain? It's a really cool sight. It's a really cool flip-up sight. You know, it's, it, it, gets, it gets a lot of... It's very accurate for what it is. Kill them! Kill them all! So, um, I mean, overall, this thing... I mean, 
probably only cost me about $1,500 to do. I don't know my math. I'm the worst kind of Asian there is. She bangs. She bangs. But I'm pretty sure I spent a little under $1,500 on this whole build. Some of you are wondering about this paint job. Uh, this is more a la carte to just particularly me. So what I did was I painted the whole rifle and then removed it with acetone as shittily as possible. I painted my issued rifle tan when I was in Afghanistan and then I got a bunch of shit for it from my platoon sergeant. I had to take it all off. It's hard to take shit off with soap and water. So I got this wrap shangled fucking paint job. But yeah, that's about it. This is my M4 carbine rifle. It's super fucking cool mall ninja bullshit, but it's my rifle and uh, it'll probably be something I hand down later on. I'll be doing another video on California featureless guns later on. It's science. It's a little stupid for those of you that live in the free states, but we're doing what we can here in Los Angeles, uh, California. I'm sorry, not just Los Angeles, because Los Angeles is not California. We're trying to do what we can here in California uh, to restore our gun rights. And if, if you want to talk to your senators, um, I don't know who to donate. Just give it to somebody, you know, or bitch and whine to somebody. That'll make a difference. That being said, that's my M4 carbine rifle build. My next build is actually a Vietnam build, and I'm actually really excited about that one, um, but it's a Vietnam cheap build. Stay tuned for the uh, Vietnam build. This has been another episode of Goonie Gunfighter. I'm gonna go and uh, jack off into a tissue and then try to smell, try to guess the smell so I can guess what I've been eating and what my body has been turning into semen. Take it easy. Yeah.